What's up YouTube, it's Joel here. This is your daily show on getting updated on the four stimulus check and the two huge stimulus bills that are being discussed in Congress right now. We have Biden's proposal and the latest update on one more stimulus check. Also, we actually have some bonus stimulus checks that are on their way to Americans right now. So find out if you qualify. We've also got Representative Elon Omar who is introducing a program to provide universal basic income to get money into people's pockets fast and consistently. We also have a group of 10 senators which comprise five Republicans and five Democrats who have reached an agreement on infrastructure without raising taxes. This is your Stimulus and Economic News update and I hope you're having a wonderful day. And if you don't mind, could you do me a huge favor and destroy that like button for this video? It really helps the channel to grow and True Life Investing would not be here without you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all stimulus and economic news that affects you. And please, if anyone asks you for personal info or to contact them on WhatsApp, it's not me, it's fake, so please don't do it. We have a group of senators that are half Republican and half Democrat who have reached a bipartisan bill on infrastructure. Now this is actually the second group to do this because Biden already said nope to that first group was Senator Capito. So they have struck what they called a realistic compromise framework to modernize our nation's infrastructure and energy technologies. Kirsten Cinema also added that they would not increase taxes in order to pay for this bipartisan bill. The lawmakers said, we are discussing our approach with our respective colleagues in the White House remain optimistic that this can lay the groundwork to garner broad support from both parties, the Democrats and the Republicans, and meet America's infrastructure needs. So Senator Mitt Romney briefed the minority leader Mitch McConnell on the plan and they say that he was open to it. Now when it comes to Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer, he has something a little bit different to say. He said, I was told verbally stuff. I've asked for paper, I'll look at it, but we'll continue to proceed on two tracks, a bipartisan track and a reconciliation track, and both are moving forward. But you also got progressives who are saying that they don't want to work with the Republicans. They want it to be done through budget reconciliation so that they can get more done and more money spent. So with Chuck Schumer, literally saying, look, I'm going to listen to these other talks. I'll see the bill, but if it doesn't line up to where we want it to be at in spending with what Biden wants to do, it's not going to happen. I've already been working on this budget reconciliation process and I'm not going to stop even if these bipartisan groups come up with the bill because he feels that ultimately it's just going to end up going through budget reconciliation and that's going to only take all the Democrats to vote for it without any Republicans needing to vote for it at all for it to get passed. Now if you're looking for a forced stimulus check then you're probably leaning towards the Democrats going through budget reconciliation because then they have the power and the authority to send some forced stimulus checks. And even Biden says that he is open to having a forced stimulus check in his new infrastructure stimulus bill or the American Families Bill. And remember, these stimulus checks aren't cheap. And the last batch of stimulus checks that we got actually cost over $400 billion. And so if they go bipartisan, then it's least likely that we will see another stimulus check because there won't be enough money to pay for them. But if we stick to the original plan that Biden had, spending over $4 trillion, spending all that money through the American Families Plan and the Infrastructure Plan, then we do have the funds to be able to cover that additional cost. Now there are lawmakers who are already ready to add the stimulus checks to the infrastructure bill once they hit the floor of the Senate or the House, including Bernie Sanders, because they believe that it would dramatically increase the economy and give Americans some immediate quick relief. And then to add to that, What's great is that we also could get some bonus stimulus checks that are heading towards Americans' ways right now. 
there's a lot of money that has been left over from the American Rescue Plan that a lot of states are sending out to people to get stimulus checks. We even have North Carolina who's actually sending $1,000 to certain children to their parents to take care of them. And so a lot of states are using these extra stimulus checks even to do bonus payments towards people going back to work and being able to get back into the workforce. But we've got the tax agency who says it just sent out more than a million bonus payments based on information it just received recently from recently filed tax returns. And many other Americans who never got a third round of stimulus checks are finally about to receive their payouts thanks to their 2020 taxes. And if you filed yours in recent weeks, one of the new stimulus checks might have your name on it. And you can help, you, you know, it can help you pay off debt, get them bills taken care of, give you some cash to save or even invest, or if you just wanna go and splurge with it. That's your stimulus check. But the IRS says that this week it sent out 2.3 million new stimulus $1,400 payment checks. And it's kinda crazy to think that they are still some that still haven't received that third stimulus check for $1,400. But yep, if you filed your tax return late, then you could have one of those checks sent straight to you very quickly in this week. Now this leads into something even more for those that are looking for another stimulus check to be sent to them. They actually would be receiving monthly stimulus checks. We have Representative Elon Omar who will be introducing a universal basic income program to Congress. She said that this plan will get money into the pockets of American people fast. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Frey's plan is to give about 200 low income families $500 a month over the next two years using the extra funds that they have from the American Rescue Plan. And then Omar wants to take this and make this nationwide through Congress of providing low income families with $500 a month for at least two years to see how it affects their lives, how it affects them getting out of poverty and allows them to be able to move forward if they were to be able to receive these extra funds. Now, there's a lot of stimulus out there and we're about to start spending a lot of money. But if Chuck Schumer is going to get his way, which it kind of looks like it's going to go that way with the budget reconciliation process that he's been working on to deliver by Nancy Pelosi's date. Remember, she said she's that we are absolutely going to see a bill on the floor July 4th. And he's already been talking with Biden on this package. And Biden says, move forward with it. Don't stop. Keep getting it done. These guys have big visions for the country and they know that they have to do something now because if they lose seats during the midterms that are coming up, then the chances of them getting something through Congress is basically thrown out the door. Now let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. Are you in favor of universal basic income for the low income household and families in America? Are you in favor of the Democrats going at it unilaterally in the Senate through budget reconciliation? Or do you think that they should go at it with the Republicans and work together to come up with a bill to get things done? Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section. But don't forget to get your two free stocks with Weeble worth up to $1,850 and go ahead and sign up with Robinhood as well. You get two free stocks with them worth up to $500. It's free money. You can start building some wealth those links are down in the description. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like this video and hit that notification bell to stay, all, to stay up to date on all stimulus and economic news that affects you and learn how to build some wealth. This is Joel True Life Investing. Until next time, peace out.